Let's start the next segment. Where do you want to go next? Oh, Paimon almost forgot! Didn't Xiang Li say Hu Tao was also planning on spending some time in Chao Ying Village? Yes, he we did. We don't have anything else to do today, right? Why don't we go have a look around? Maybe we'll run into her. Let's head out to Zhang Shaoling Bajang Gas Hong Hat Pudoya Village. Unpronounceable names, bro. Even though she literally just said it, she literally verbatim said the damn name of the village. But you know how it is. Excuse me? Another marker to put down because there's more quests in this village. Quest I need to do! Ah, nice peaceful lure. The so village. She makes Paimon feel like she could float around all day and never get tired. You probably wouldn't Dream. get tired. Gummies! Fuel fruit! Who is that loud ass voice, huh? brother? Did you hear that? Yeah, how could I not? Who could that be, bro? Something about blue fruit and good vibes, bro. What? So Paimon wasn't just hearing things. I think everyone's mm, hearing that, that Paimon. That voice sounds really familiar. Oh, fuck, it's louder well, than me. Well, we got the time. Why don't we go check it out? Oh, well, we got the time. Almonds this, Coco face that. Lively voice and Rickets your steps. Is this... What quest am I on? Oh, okay. What are they doing here? Navia and oh. Clarand! Navi and Clarand are here? Ah, well, if it isn't my dear partners... Was that her shouting? I told you that something good was going to happen during our travels today. I have to say, sometimes the Steambird's astrology column is spot on. It's just your lucky day. Are you guys also here to catch the festivities? Oh, and that reminds me. Happy Lantern Ride. I hope I hope they say we ask who was shouting and it wasn't even Navi. It was Kaloran that shouted all that. That would be funny as fuck. Happy Lantern Ride. The Happy Lantern Ride. Bro. I've heard in my mind's eye, which allowed me to see into the future, that Kaloran isn't an on-field electro DPS. Which makes me very unhappy that I did not get right into Happy Lantern Ride! I hope that too. is wrong. Got lost on the way to leave the harbor. that voice we heard, that was you, right, Navia? Nope, it was Clever. Oh, impressive. You can tell it was me from that far away. Would have been Who's funnier if it was Clever. That or your voice is just really loud. <laughs> Honestly, she was louder than me, bro. That was like the <laughs> loudest voice they've had in the game. After all, I'm a boss. Indeed. Wow. I suppose it's an asset. That is 100% sure a, a clip he fucking uses. Girl boss. Wait, wait, wait. That wasn't even Paimon's point. Paimon just wants to know why you two were shouting from the top of this deserted mountain. There was something about almonds, maybe? And buell fruit? Ooh, is it some sort of secret code? No, it's not a code. The words are meaningless. Perhaps, but the act of shouting was very meaningful indeed. Okay, That's just what attention. mountain climbers do, right? After all the hard work it takes to make it to the top, as you stand on the summit looking out at the vast scenery, it's not easy to resist the urge to release those emotions. I mean, she's not wrong. I mean, look at this fucking view, bro. And look at the mountain. This region is the most mountainous region besides anywhere else. Well, man, can you imagine that this is what Nalan's going to look like, but with like the Dumeru jungle trees on top of it? Untravelable. <laughs> exactly. Or unnavigable. You partner. I was afraid that it would cause a disturbance, so I asked the locals around here, and they said it was fine. Apparently, most hikers like to shout when they get to the top, so the locals are used to it by now. Okay, so, so we know you're you a tourist. See, it's not just me. I guess everyone shouts from the top of a mountain at some point in their life. Uh, speak for yourself. Yeah, she when you're shot. stressed, don't you ever just get the urge to do something for no reason? Hurt people. Mm, not really. If I ever get stressed, I just go hunting. 
kill stuff. Oh, that's a pretty good way to relieve stress. To kill shit, like I said. Hmm. What I choose to hunt depends on my mood. People, huh? animals, creatures. Uh, um. <laughs> anyway, why don't you two give it a try? Shout anything you want. It's a real stress reliever. Hmm. As long as Paimon has clothes on her back and food in her belly, Paimon doesn't think there's any stress that needs relieving. Yeah, I prefer to keep things bottled up, bro. Bro, didn't the traveler snap when Catherine got killed and uh, Dunyazar died? And he fucking just killed the fucking Emirates in the simulation? Oh, I bet you guys are just too embarrassed to let loose. No need to be shy. Even Farina was shouting from the top of this mountain earlier. Is it who? Omega Lo? Who, Omega Lo? Huh? Did Paimon hear that right? Farina's also here? In Chalian Village? Why would she not be? I she traveled the world. Ears. It is indeed as you heard. I'll leave in your ears. Right. He has a great way Actually, of Actually, the reason we climbed this mountain in the first place was also because we heard the sound of shouting. Yes. We could just about make out someone yelling things like, Help me! And what should I do? So we hurried up here to check it out. Ah, yes. And Farina trapped herself know, on a mountain. Now she was running. Farina okay. was standing right there, all red in the face. She practically sprinted back down the mountain the minute she saw us. Ah, that reminds me. I believe what she actually said was, So help me, I will figure out what I should do about this script. Ah. So... You could actually hear what she was saying? Why didn't you say so earlier? I thought someone was really in trouble. I figured we would come check out the situation either way. Why not let her keep some privacy? Good girl. Oh, seems like you caught Farina in the middle of some stress relief as well. Hit. Catch yourself anyway. She probably would have never thought. No, she definitely would have never thought she would run into anyone she knew all the way out here. Is she alone? She starts traveling the world by herself? I think so. Uh, we ran into Nervalet on the way here as well, but he was already on his way back, so they probably weren't together. Well, he's not traveling with her dad. Nervalet was here too? Fucking just bring the whole Fontaine cast here, bro. Literally, we have everyone besides what Riosli and Lynette and Lainey. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if we see them too. So many people in Fontaine, bro. What was he doing here? It couldn't have been for vacation. Bodyguard. I think it just might have been, actually. But apparently he only stayed for half a day before heading back. He's a very busy man. Bro, like a 12-hour mm. vacation. Neville is not the type to take much time off. Taking even a half day for himself is already a huge step in the right direction. I want to taste Didn't the river Charlotte water. Charlotte published an article on the Liyue tea industry recently? Maybe he was inspired to come buy some tea after reading that article. You know, just like you were. My situation is completely different. I'm here because I was asked to accompany you. The tea purchase is simply an added bonus of this location. Isn't that you so? Fontanians in your tea drinking. Hey, I oh, say that. It's oh. not for me. I lost a bet with Ridesley, and now I have to buy him something. You made a bet? It was just a spur of the moment sort of bet. I love that, bro. Motherfuckers be like, bro, Navi and Clarin went to Fontaine on vacation together. Let's ship them. And then she drops the. Actually, I was out here buying tea for Rio's. Like, Get fucked, bro. You can't ship her either way, bro. Writers are like, you want her gay? We got you covered. You want her straight? We got you covered. Ridesley gets really invested in that sort of thing, but he couldn't care less about what he wins in the end. You could give him mint plants that you plucked from the side of the road, and he wouldn't even mind. Uh, if only he was that easy going when it came to talking business. <laughs> what business do you In run? In any that, case, you I'm pretty business? sure the tea you bought is this region's specialty. What is it called again? Uh, Nervalet even mentioned it earlier. Buy ten boxes, get hot. Sunglow tea. Yes, yes, that's the one. You didn't really buy ten boxes, did you? <laughs> Please, do I look like someone who would fall for that sort of marketing trap? Well, we know someone. That reminds me. That. You guys said you only came up here because you heard my voice, right? I hope it didn't put you out. You must have had other plans for the day. Yeah, I mean, oh, Director Hu right, Tao. Director Hu. A few days ago, we heard that a friend was going to be in Chaoying Village. 
So we decided to come and see if we could run into her. I'm probably at the Fontanian Brigade along the way. Oh dear. We've been chatting for quite some time. I'm sorry for keeping you. Don't worry, we don't even know where the hell she is. Or she's in the village still. <laughs> That's good. We should probably head out and look for Hu Tao. Should we? No need to stay on our account. We just got up here, so we're gonna stay around for a little longer. I wanna hear Coleman shout. Go and meet your friend. We can meet up in Chaoying Village later. We will not. Sounds reasonable to me. Sounds good. We're gonna head down the mountain then. See you later. Bro, let them get to leave a harbor proper. They've only been to fucking the village, bro. What do I have to do to get you to yell from the top of this mountain? Name your price. You really want to hear it that bad, huh? I'm just curious is all. I have a feeling you'll say something amazing. Hmm. <sighs> I will pass. I prefer to let action speak louder than words. The wrecked person, huh? I wish they kept her green design, bro. The fucking Robin Hood apple green design was so cool. The gun sword. That was such a cool design. Uh oh. Looks like local blue woman has been captured by Chinese interrogators. I, uh. Who tell has to be from, like, this village? Right? village is known for its tea. But you know what else they have with tea? That's right, dim sum! Who is into dim sum, bro? What storyboard writer is like, bro, this has got to be the dim sum update, bro. Didn't Gumming say something about dim sum being eaten in the morning? Oh, Paimon wonders if we can still get some at this time of day. It is morning, isn't it? Afternoon tea might be more appropriate at this point. No, it's oh, absolutely well, I'm retarded. Fine too. Paimon doesn't care what kind of tea it is as long as it comes with some tasty snacks. Yeah, all right, though. You are a quite a but they have a teapot and old fucking statue of Rasta Cream, bro. Fuck this village. Now, let's see what kind of yummy things we can find around here. Uh. Ah, she's some kind of yummy thing. She's about. Things, is she? Is that Farino standing between Zhang Li and Hu Tao? Yeah, based on her crown hat, bro. I, uh, who I else would it be? what they're talking about. Zhang Li knows a lot of stuff. Maybe he's telling Farina about Chow Ying Village. Honestly, oh, that's not a bad guess. trying to rope Farina into being one of her clients. That sounds more accurate, actually. Hey, this isn't the Fortress of Meropede. And? We can still bet for the coupons. Paimon could be convinced for the right price. Let's say... Loser buys the winner three huge bowls of seafood kanji. Do you even want Zhang that Li much seafood? There, Things are pretty tame. Nah, Zhang. Paimon votes for tour guide Zhang Li. I vote for Hustler Hu Tao, bro. There's no way Zhang Li can't control Hu Tao. All right, no time to waste. Let's go see who's right. He, his granddaughter gets off to doing what she wants when he's around, even though it's not actually his granddaughter. Well, she hit that fucking scribble. But did you see her during the cutscene? She was zip zap. Oh, now Paimon shouting too. Oh my goodness, I disturbed the peace. Oh, well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Seems like our luck just keeps on growing. We are not omens of good luck. That we were able to meet you both without prior arrangement must mean that this is quite the serendipitous meeting indeed. Not exactly uh -huh. as serendipitous oh, as you think. So both of you are acquainted with the Traveler and Paimon then. Yeah, so many fucking characters in one place, bro. Kinda crazy. <laughs> Boy, I'm that's pretty sure you didn't learn that one from me. Uh, um, I must yeah, admit, yeah. I am a bit surprised to see you here, traveler. But seeing as you're a hero who's been all over to that, it makes sense that you would be well traveled and well connected. Of course, short haired white woman. We have found ourselves in each other's company within this fertile land. Allow me to take this opportunity to wish you a happy lantern rite. Y'all motherfuckers should get the Leo at proper. It but appears happy you have been to Fontaine then. No shit. Uh -huh. Given your proclivity to spread good deeds wherever you go, it's no surprise that you would make the acquaintance of a celebrity as illustrious and celebrated as Miss Farina. Uh, <laughs> that's quite high praise. Why would he call her a celebrity? Would he not refer to her as the Archon? I mean, she might have, like, resigned from the position in Fontaine and the news would spread, but... 
he recognized her as one of the Archons, did he not? Before, one of the seven? I guess formality was. I want to see how that's going to play out. Because it's an Archon. Well, she doesn't know. He's obviously, but... What I mean to say is, you flatter me, Mr. Zhongli. He doesn't know she's speaking to the Geo. I've built up a certain following within Fontaine, it is no reflection of strength or wisdom. I stand before you right now as nothing more than an ordinary traveler in search of beautiful I guess. scenery and creative. Yes, I stand before you as an ordinary traveler. I guess I can acknowledge her archon pass. I could tell as much from our conversation earlier. Given his breadth of knowledge on both academic and worldly matters, there's no way he hasn't heard about what happened in Fontaine. Yeah. Is he just feigning ignorance for my benefit? I'm saying, like, if you, if there's things people would know in the world, they would know Farina, Fosolars. That's the Hydro Archon. So, like, there's no way he wouldn't know that she either is the Hydro Archon or that she's resigned to the Hydro Archon. No, 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 no. Ayah. You're no common tourist. I simply won't have you talk about yourself that way. Oh, does that mean Hu Tao also knows? You may not have heard, friends, but... Uh, Miss Hu Tao... Miss Farina is now one of my esteemed clients! Uh, uh, uh. Yep! Oh, you bought a funeral <laughs> casket? Did you hear that, five one? She's who does a steamed client. Okay, okay, you win. Oh, I guess Paimon will have to break into the hidden stash at the bottom of her shoe. What is huh? that, bro? What's this about winning something? We Don't won you. Tell me, you two were placing bets on us. I might even say it's a five on time. Just say, yeah, we were. Oh, he pointed at her, but okay. <laughs> friend must have guessed that I was trying to promote my business to Miss Farina. Yes, you know me, bro. I'm the actual intelligent one. That I do, my friend. Exactly. What was Paimon's guess then? Paimon thought Zhang Li was showing the newbie around. Damn, bro. Called her a newbie, bro. <sighs> By newbie, you mean me, right? You know your ass has never left on then. then Paimon's guess was also correct. Oh, that's right. Mr. Zhang Li was telling me about some great sightseeing spots in the area. <laughs> you see? Haima was right too! Net loss, bro. Net neutral. If both of our guesses were right, there can't be a winner or a loser. You keep your money then. Zero sum game. Hey, don't be upset, traveler. You're always upset every time you lose. How about this? You buy Paimon a bull and Paimon will also buy you a bull. Yeah, okay, bro. What's the point? No if even. I was the subject of the bet, perhaps it should go to me, you know, as a congratulations for the huge deal I just struck. I'll buy you a bowl anytime you want. Damn, why are you flirting with Huta? <laughs> I was just joking. Anyway, I should be the one treating you. The funeral parlor is about to bring in quite the sum after all. What did you just buy? Oh, Paimon almost forgot to ask about the most important question. What did she buy? Did I... something happen recently, Farina? Huh? What do you mean? Were you running from the top of a hill? I... Uh, well, you know, with you enlisting the services of Wangsheng Funeral Parlor and all. Oh, well, yes. Really? Oh, no. Who's not? Paimon is so sorry for your loss. Although Paimon may have not known the person, please accept Paimon's deepest... Whoa, 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 it's not like that, Paimon. Huh? But Paimon just thought, since you hired the services of a funeral parlor and all... Hey, it's not that big of a stretch. What could, what could she hire the really, function father for? It's not like you don't know me. Do I look like I know anyone who would ask me to coordinate their funeral? Not exactly, but I mean, it doesn't seem like something you wouldn't do. Miss Hu Tao is simply helping no answer, prepare huh? some props for my film. Not too long ago, I read a collection of horror stories from Liyue. 
The content was spectacular. In fact, I still feel the need to sleep with the light on even now. Okay. Well, <laughs> anyway, light on. that's not the point. Fontaine's electricity? Now that Fontaine's biggest star has returned to the stage, I figured it's about time the industry enjoyed a breath of fresh air. We might even call it a breath fresh air. What the fuck is that? I'm not reading that, bro. That is the most insane line I've ever seen in this fucking game. Holy shit. Might even call it a breath of fresh hair or... Oh my god. Hair or... Holy Jesus. Hey! <laughs> That's pretty good! What is it? I'll have to remember that for my ad posters. Oh, Paimon sees! That makes a lot of sense. Bro, why so, are they acting like that wasn't horrible? Just to enlist the services of Longchang Funeral Parlor? Well, not exactly. My original plan was to just relax and enjoy the sights. But then I ran into Miss Hu Tao and Mr. Zhang Li, and well, you know the rest. I suppose it was meant to be. I doubt it was, it was meant to be. It was a fated meeting indeed. It was a fating meeting Zhang indeed. Li sure Bullshit. his lofty turns of phrase. But if you ask me, it's all thanks to that man who stopped to ask for directions. Oh? Who was it? The name Udex. It's someone you know. Wanna take a guess? Yeah, I knew a lot. What? How did you guess that on your first try? Who else would you go Very with? Very impressive, my friend. Your guessing game is spot on today. How about Navi and Coran are up there on the mountain? Why don't we get them to come down here? Yeah, they're gonna be up there for a while. Beautiful expressing, it says you leave out the part about Shadow. Huh. Hyman never thought Nervalette would be the type to get lost. I'm sure he didn't get lost. <laughs> Even I was able to find my way to this place without any trouble. He was already getting ready to leave by the time I arrived. He just wanted to ask someone about the quickest way to get back to Fontaine. The water. Yep, that's exactly what he asked. This area is full of mountains and rivers. It's normal to not know the fastest route. Yeah, he's <laughs> swimming through the fastest route. So, were you the one that pointed him in the right direction, Hotel? Of course. I'm also a guide of sorts, you know. So naturally, I also have a great sense of direction. Spirit guide, but bro. Get real. Speaking of your friend... What about him? He doesn't get out much, does he? No. He really doesn't. Uh, no wonder. He was stiff as a board and way too polite. I would have never guessed he was here on vacation if you hadn't told me. All in all, he was only here for half a day. I'm pretty sure he is the only one who would consider that to be a vacation. Oh? This gentleman you speak of must keep a demanding schedule. I'm sure he does. You didn't see him, but he was dressed like he was about to attend some important meeting. It wasn't anything like what someone would wear on vacation. Yeah, that motherfucker was Is not that on vacation. So? That nigga was not on vacation. He was about to whoop Zhongli's ass. No. Zhongli's ass. At the time, it appeared as if Director Hu and Miss Farina were having quite the productive conversation. I know matters of business can take much discussion, so... I decided to fetch some tea for them. What a shame. That gentleman seemed like a sophisticated sort of guy. I actually think you two would have hit it off. Is that so? They have a bombastic side, however. That nigga did not want to meet him. Could he be avoiding him on purpose? That moment was like, mm -hmm. that's not what I want to do with. It is what it is. <laughs> to borrow Miss Farina's turn of phrase, perhaps it just wasn't meant to be. Well, with the traveler around, I'm sure you'll have a chance to get to know each other at some point. Yeah, That's bro. Right. At the end He's of the world. More than he knows what to deal with. I do have a certain charm about me, bro. Well, that's certainly true. Is this the interaction people wanted? They wanted oh, the two flat chest hot me. pants with blue. The chance, and you white and, and red and black women to meet each other. Up a bit. Just tell him the Palais Mermonia isn't going to fall apart if he disappears for a few days. <laughs> he shouldn't keep himself cooped up all the time. 
Even clams open their shells to let in fresh water every once in a while, right? That's a good if line. She's just really saying. that much of a stickler for protocol. He can fill out a leave of absence request. He'd uh, have to approve it himself since he handles that sort of thing now. But you know what I mean. It does make sense, but I think you should tell him. Seems like this gentleman is also in charge of something pretty important. He's the judge of Fonte. He's the fair and partial Unix of Fonte, highest of the otherwise known as the de the demon who controls all the paperwork in Fonte. Hey, yeah. Sounds like a pretty Unix. uptight sort of guy, all right. In my experience, a leader needs to be able to roll with the punches. That also includes knowing when and what to prioritize. It seems like your friend still has a lot of growing to do. If I remember correctly, he's already several thousands of years old. If we know 500. You're quite right, Miss Sutao. Ah, oh, there's Cloranda oh. and Anavia. Traveler. Miss Farina, those two individuals over there appear to recognize you. Oh, it's Navia and Cloran! Hey, over here! Oh, the Chinese French connection? <laughs> we saw you all chatting over here, and we're wondering if we could join in. Well, this stone bridge is about to collapse. Too many please, people. Excuse the interruption. Oh. <laughs> So polite. No apologies necessary. Any friend of the Traveler and Miss Farina is a friend of mine. You just met Miss Farina. Ah, straight to the point. I like it. Everyone circles around you because they introduce themselves. Who tells let him? She's like Clarence profession. I'm glad. I'm fucking gladiator. <laughs> Most guided ideas. Yeah, she's not a murderer. Hmm. It's getting late. If we want to catch a boat back before dark, we should probably get going. How long have you guys Indeed. been here? You guys only got to visit the village? Miss Farina. They didn't get to visit oh, uh, Leeway uh, yes. Harbor proper. What's the when point? are you planning to head back? Do you need us to escort you? <laughs> oh, um, I, I don't think that will be necessary. Let's go travel on our own. I Where? Mean, you're not my subordinate anymore. You don't need to look after me. Um, I didn't mean it that way. You mean you want some it's friends, bitch? Friends to travel home together if they run into each other on the road. Mm, there are a lot of mountainous roads in this area. I imagine they'll be even harder to navigate after dark. Exactly. Just like in those ghost stories. Bro, well, these Fontaines came Eight here for like a day. And they didn't even get to leave a harbor proper. Beside them, an old house has stood. If you dare to go inside, not a soul will greet your eye. But if you take a closer look, there may be something you mistook. A candle flickers to and fro, yet there is no wind to make it so. What is its secret? What could it mean? In this wood, where mystery screams. <laughs> so it tells me the next update, but the next like Halloween one is gonna be a horror movie with Hoot now in like for in, in real. I feel like it's gonna be of course. Or it's gonna be a horror movie in Fontaine with Hoot for me. Gotta say, Farina, you are really quite the character. Also, she's a famous. By the way, did I hear you mention that Clorand used to work under you? Then you must have also been a leader at some point. Yeah, uh, the, the death well, dealing gladiator, uh, champion duelist. All in the past now. Besides, being a leader is hard. It wasn't the right job for me. I prefer how things are now. I can come and go as I please, and get to enjoy the sweet taste of freedom. I see. Well, you've certainly picked an apt place to relax. Chaoying Village is an exemplary choice. Only the best. Yeah, everyone have a good time. <laughs> and I've learned a lot too. Yeah, too bad they only got to visit Chaoying. Thank you Chao so Ying. much, Miss Hutao and Mr. Zhongli. It's fine. You think does more than enough. Didn't got them out. Didn't get, they probably landed in Yinglong Harbor? In the neck of the woods, so. I'll treat you to some dim sum in the city. 
Yeah, it's better to get to the city. Dim sum. Is that some kind of liyue term for snacks or desserts? No, it's a real they food. They are a part of it. It's basically a table full of as much tea, sweets, and good company as you can manage. Oh, so it's basically a tea party. <laughs> Sounds great. Make sure to order the winter melon cake and the lotus flower crisp. They're so sweet and delicious, Paimon knows you'll love them. I feel like she would have had... Well, <laughs> I'll be looking forward to it then. She would have had Liyue delicacies at some point. you were here on vacation? How come you're all going home empty-handed? Like after like one day. You know, bring home any souvenirs? How about some tea? How about a person? Of course I am. I bought tons of fun things to bring home with me. A kite, a parasol, a little tin frog that jumps. Jesus. Oh, and Chinese a firecracker. toy of a mythical beast. Chlorand is the one who didn't buy anything for herself. So, all you're bringing back with you is that tea? And some unique. tea flavored hard candies. They're for Sijween. Chlorand isn't much of a shopaholic. Well, one of us has to practice restraint. Hey, I'm hardly reckless with my Mora. I'll have you know, all the purchases I made today were well within my budget. How about you, Farina? Are you a shopaholic? Me? Well, I bought some tea, of course. I just had to try all the varieties recommended in the Steambird. Other than that, just some bits and bobs, you know. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. They should all be things I can use. I think. Alright, so you bought one of everything with no restraint. Uh, now Paimon's even more confused. If you bought that much stuff, where did it all go? Into one of Linny's magic packets? Oh, <laughs> actually... Monsieur Neuvillette took them with him. Oh, so that's what happened. Wait, what? Why did he take them? Oh, he's not hoarding treasure, is he? Like a dragon. <laughs> and that's quite the imagination you've got there, Paimon. Interesting take. Monsieur Neuvillette just saw the amount of bags we had and offered to take them back for us. I felt a bit bad at first, but, uh, I really did have a lot of stuff. <laughs> he even offered to deliver my gifts to the Fortress of Meripede for me once he's done with the day's work. Novelette is a man of his word. If he says he can do something, then he means it. See, even Clorand was happy to take him up on his offer. He tapped the cane in all those bottles and went got and into agreed, bubbles and went straight up. <laughs> wow, he seems like a real gentleman. Maybe he's not as uptight as I thought. If only the funeral parlor had an employee as thoughtful, proactive, and responsible as him. Right, Zhongli? Indeed. <laughs> what a great restaurant. <laughs> Why can't so you be more like it? Entrance of the Fortress of Meripede. Maybe we'll run into Nevelette! We're going back to Fonte and Ripple? Oh, that reminds me. A new year of work is about to begin. If there's anything you want to talk about, Zhongli, you know you can come to me. I'm all ears. Does the director have any concerns? It just seemed like you were a bit preoccupied today, and much less talkative than usual. He barely said anything other than, Is that so? And... Indeed. Let me dodge the Hydro Sovereign if and let the Hydro me, Archon. I'd say you're having a midlife crisis. You're getting to be around that age, after all. So is he in his 40s, then? Is that the age he's supposed to be? Is that so? The age he looks, uh. at least? <laughs> I jest. Given its distance from the city, Chaoying Village enjoys a much slower pace of life. Surrounded by such peace and tranquility, I also seem to have developed a proclivity for inactivity. I apologize for making you worry. Adapt to the surroundings. Ah, um, I see. More leisurely oh, in the country, sir. Traveler, is this atmosphere putting you in a lazy mood too? I mean, I haven't done half the goddamn quest. Different worlds should not collide. Out of mind, out of sight. Wow, you are getting really good at these kinds of lines. Indeed. Well, everyone, make sure that you've got all your belongings with you before we leave. 
If there's any souvenirs anyone still wants to buy, the time is now. It went to the harbor Reliable proper. Reliable as ever, Miss President. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Florian is right, though. You really are reliable. It's not what she's saying. It's the way she's saying it. I will say, but I never thought you'd be so easygoing outside of work, Clorand. The tone of voice you use when you're working doesn't exactly make you seem like the type who enjoys interacting with people. Well, I try to keep my professional and private life separate. That includes my behavior. I could say what her job is. That makes perfect now, sense. Traveler, Paimon. Now, your partner is very strong. Ah, trying to act cool now, are we? <laughs> well, I guess it's not an act for you, is it? You are indeed quite strong. <laughs> it's been great talking to you all. I'm really glad I decided to come to Chaoying Village. Maybe we could go on another trip together sometime? Yeah, to the fucking war torn land of Notton. <laughs> or the Civil War fixed land of motherfucking. Inazuma. <laughs> Can you imagine that? It's like, oh, I see Nuvalets and Inazuma, bro. Swam across the water. Okay, it's like, it should not be for another hundred years before I meet, uh, uh the Chio Archon. Since so you not want to see us come to blows. Motherfucker was two steps away from whooping his ass, bro. He was right there. Hopefully that's what everyone wanted. They got their they finally got their Hu Tao and Farina interaction, even though it was just lightweight. My boy just standing out here. What's he doing back here, bro? Did they just leave him in the same position he was last up. Should he not be somewhere else? Look, it's Nuvalet. We left out. That one's just standing out here. Oh, it's you. It has been some time since our last meeting. Has it? Few she people has frequent this location. Since I was able to conclude my work early for the day, I thought I might take a walk and avail myself of this area's peace and quiet. You call this early? Do you always work this late, Nevelet? Strictly speaking, that depends on the agenda for the day. I am hardly bereft of time, however, so working late is of little consequence to me. Really? If you have so much time on your hands, then why did you only go to Chaoying Village for half a day? Hmm? First, I should clarify that I was referring to my lifespan, rather than the time at my disposal on any given day. No, okay. Second, I was unaware you possessed knowledge of my trip to Chaoying Village. We were there. In fact, we were talking to the GRC. Thank you for informing me. Did you deliver the gifts? Yes, they have been safely delivered. <laughs> I have to hand it to Cloran. Just a simple gift delivery, and she has the great and mighty Udex at her beck and call. I was just passing through. It was merely an act of convenience. Honestly, bro. Motherfucker like pulled up. Imagine right. that. She's like, oh, I'm going to see you. Then I hereby oh, okay. confirm receipt of the goods on behalf of the staff of the Fortress of Meripede. A verbal receipt of confirmation? Is such a formality really necessary for a small matter such as this? No, it really isn't. Guess not. This quantity of tea, though, seems a little excessive for a gift, don't you think? Before you know it, they'll start accusing me of taking bribes. Don't tell she bought the ten boxes. Ah, about that. Much of that is my own excess, I'm afraid. Oh? Why? What happened? It was buy ten boxes, get half off. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, that explains it then. <laughs> he did it! Well, go ahead and leave them to me. I'll get through this stash as fast as I can. You have my thanks. What is with these hyper-intelligent oh, people? Something else I'd like but to but to you. Sounds like a good deal to me. This is... A stone slate, engraved with a symbolic design. 
While that is an apt description, it is in actuality a legal codex. How old is that legal codex, bro? A legal codex, huh? Hmm. Before the advent of modern writing utensils, information was recorded on stone slabs such as this. The law was no different. Where the hell did you get one of those? Oh, okay. Why was he killing it seriously? Since ancient times, the scales of justice have symbolized the fairness and impartiality of judiciousness. As a tribute to that sentiment, this slate was designed after a traditional legal codex and engraved with a symbol instead of text. During my travels recently, I chanced upon a roadside stall offering tourists the opportunity to try their hand at the ceramic arts. So I decided to have a go. Oh, he made a clay tablet or a stone tablet we too. We joked with Claran some time ago about gifting you a legal codex. So, here you go. Bruh. Ah, so that's what this is about. Okay, that's actually really funny. I did not expect you to remember it as well. In any case, I hope this can be considered as a reasonable attempt to join in on the banter. It is a very good attempt. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Even your sense of humor centers around the law. That's an impressive level of commitment. Well, a gift of this significance deserves to be put on display, and I know just the place. Front and center in the fortress's showroom. Ah, surely there's no need for such a grand gesture. Just kidding. I don't have anything like a showroom. But we do have a storage room. We can put it next to all the mechanical parts Sijuin has collected. That sounds good to me. So that's what you were doing in Chaoying Village. <laughs> He's like, ah, we can throw it in the storage room. <laughs> nah, no, does not Indeed. give a shit about the gift. Of course, while I was there, I also took the opportunity to taste the local spring water. I knew he was going to get some damn water. Is much purer than what I have delivered to me in Fontaine. It stands to reason that the long-distance transport has a tendency to imbue the water with extraneous emotion. If you want to experience the true flavor, you simply have to go to the source. Perhaps I should organize some time off to do the same elsewhere. Oh, that's actually going to be great. And water tasting with lube and lube that. As I say, lube, a balance between work and play is sure to keep the troubles in Then we are of the same mind. It appears my desire is justified. Yes, it is. Justify a vacation, right? You can just take one. That's After not true all, at all. What time? What, what, what do you do? Time. You can do whatever you want. You're quite right. I suppose I suffer not from a lack of opportunity, but rather a lack of inspiration. Yeah, However, after crazy. reading a few articles about Li Wei's holiday traditions, the idea popped into my head and made itself quite at home. Seeing as I was free of responsibilities for the morning, I decided to depart at once. Let me just laugh for the day. Refreshing. My spontaneous outing seemed to inspire quite a few other spontaneous decisions as well. Take, for example, my foray into ceramics. At first, soil from the ground is granular and unforgiving, but at the right amount of water, and it becomes soft, moldable, a nice play able to take shape. In the past, I never thought about how quotidian vessels were crafted. But now, I have participated in their very making. Who tells right? He hasn't seen much of the world. Today. Bruh, homie made a fucking ladle. Bro, the long dragon meme is real. A big ladle. That's a ladle? I meant that it was supposed to be some long necked sea creature. Bruh. People must have shit themselves. One of my inspirations. It matches your colors. Really? You like it? To oh, tell he you sounds truth, excited. Given your unexpected arrival, I find myself quite unequipped to give you the welcome you deserve. Oh, Around he's so such excited. An important holiday such as this, human custom would dictate that gifts should be in order. But I'm afraid this is all I can offer. If you'll have it, that is. Oh, you made it by hand and everything? That is precisely why it would do me such a great honor if you accepted. Bro, thank you. That's actually cool. He built us a handcrafted ceramic dragon ladle. You are most welcome. Happy Lantern Rite. 
Oh, that reminds me. Hmm. Approve a leave of absence request for myself. That sounds like it could easily lead to a vicious cycle of self-indulgence, something which couldn't be in further violation of protocol. But I suppose I understand her point. My proclivity to refrain from personal outings does, in part, originate from a sense of responsibility toward my duties. But it is also due to a lack of desire to engage in the human world. Hmm. Now I see that the human world is indeed full of many interesting places to discover. You've just now figured that out, bro? It's been like oh, a thousand okay. years, bro. I could have told you that. Anyone could have told you that. You could have experienced that. Hustle and bustle. Alright. We get the new ballet later. Lantern right marks the start of the new year in Liyue. In the spirit of the season, the then, I wish you a year of success oh, yeah. as vast and endless as the open ocean. Is that dark sea? Hey, bro, that's dangerous. Look at that. Lantern right fully done, fully complete, fully rolled. And I can't even pull for Nahida. Alright. Let me do these damn videos. 